So after the last tournament there, where I was loving this list with Magnus and the six Buccaneers, it is back in action again. Uh, I was over at my buddy's place. He wanted to try out the crazy Tier 4 calendar list he's been just playing around with for fun. And I thought, you know what? Even though I don't feel this is a good matchup and that the, the Ashland one would be better... I, I gotta I gotta show them how this list works. So we're gonna break this out again. It is my tier four Magnus one list, and it is just fun to play. Meanwhile, he is doing a tier four Calander list. Sorry about the no painting and stuff, but I mean this one has the Mountain King and the whole nine yards, and uh, this is actually a pretty big deal because when you go to the full tier. All the, the, the guys here are going to be affected by one of the animuses. And so what I do in my little tier, you know, fun and dance thing is I jam you really, really quick. Well, the thing about him is that he takes the winter troll animus. And so if I jam him, I get stationary. So it's kind of some anti-tier anti tech going on here. All right. So otherwise, what I have on my list here is Magnus 1 running a Galleon, six Buccaneers, two Renegades, and then the two units of Halberdiers you see there that have already advanced moved up. For him, he is running a Calandra, and in this one over there, there's going to be the Mountain King, there's going to be a Lightning Troll, Pyre Troll, Slag Troll, Winter Troll, there's going to be uh, Troll Moses, the Creel Stone, uh, also there is going to be the Warders there, and then also the Rune Shapers there as well. And one of the things that's going to be a little bit changing here later is it turns out he actually has a min unit of warders, but whatever. Um, the scenario here is one that's actually pretty good for me, so I'll spread around here and try and score this. Uh, but like I said, it's going to be very hard to jam. Uh, he won the initiative, he took first turn, and I didn't know if he actually did that just to kind of like make this happen where I want to jam him but can't. But either way, uh, another part of my tier is the whole fact that I get to put down cover. And when I put out the battle report for my tournament games, I never used it. And you know what? I don't need it here either. But just so that people leave me alone, there you go. You see that little orange thing by the house close to me? There's some free wreck marker I put down. So, haha, -ha, I used it. Otherwise, really... I feel that when I get the pick sides, this side will work a lot better because I'll be able to use the buildings on his side to more trap off the flags. Uh, really, the flag on the right seems very separated and, and protected. Uh, the flag on the left, better. Uh, the one in the middle, I'm just going to basically have to score on once and that's it. But yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. All right, so otherwise, I see him run up and you know, I get to start off all my upkeeps out so that's pretty cool I have iron aggression up onto the galleon blur onto my caster snipe onto the front renegade and then one of the buccaneers has the tempered metal the, the painted one for himself he's just rushing on up uh, kind of charge across with Calandra so Calandra's more behind the mountain king uh, the little lightning troll actually ran around the building so you can see him peeking out on the right but either way this is how it settles up so I, I can't really engage his beasts because if I do, the, they'll all be stationary and the Mountain King will just kill me. So that's really bad. So what I'm going to do instead is really run up and engage his troops. Because at least then I'll be fine. But uh, yeah, otherwise I want to still get in front of those beasts because I want to stall their progress and then uh, try and score on all three flags. So in my turn, I allocate one to each of my jacks. Uh, each of my jacks being each of my buccaneers. The... Galleon gets to run for free. Uh, so really the Buccaneers all run up. I run up with the uh, Halberdiers, Renegades walk up, blah, blah, blah. I charge up with Magnus with popping the feet first. And then after that, all my guys get to go again. So the Renegades really up there and aggressive. Uh, I've tied up the Rune Shapers. I tied up the Warders. Otherwise, I'm making sure to stay just out of two inches out of all of his beasts. But I got a line there, those four jacks, which is really just going to stop his progress. Now, one of the things that was told to me after this is that, and this is something that, I mean, 
how often does this even come up to matter? But whereas I thought that animus goes on just the battle group, no, 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 no. This goes on to the entire army. So basically, Buccaneer number four and number five are stationary now, which is really bad and not what I wanted. But, meh, what are you going to do? All right, otherwise, for his turn, uh, he goes with the Mountain King. Uh, he's trying to smash up my stuff. Uh, he's only able to destroy the one Buccaneer. The other Buccaneer is pretty ma messed up. Uh, otherwise, he's able to finish it off. Uh, another one there that was right beside it. So two Buccaneers down. Uh, Buccaneers number four and number one take a good thrashing. But uh, eh, they, at least they stalled the Warder advance. Uh, because again, the one on the left, number four, was stationary. Those Rune Shapers just back up and shoot him. And this is fantastic because... They could have just ran past them and gotten that flag, but now they didn't, and now I can score. Uh, meanwhile, on the right, Lightning Troll zaps one, jumps into another, kills two, no big deal. So, this is how it ends up here. Uh, he popped his feet, he has star crossed up, all those nice fancy things, and I'm going to score in all three flags. So, really, all I'm going to do is have the Renegade on the left, get the left flag, jam with those Halberdiers. I, I really need something else in the way of the Mountain King. So that Renegade there is just going to run up to get in the way. And then I really want to kill the Lightning Troll. I, I can score on that flag regardless. But if I kill that Lightning Troll, he'll really have nothing over there to really contest that flag. So I'm going to be going up to the Galleon to take that center flag. And then hopefully deal with the Lightning Troll. I'm going to have to swap over Snipe, but it'll be totally worth it. So that's what I do. I take a couple of little attacks. Uh, the halberdiers on the left going after the one warder. This is where he, he takes off the, the extra ones because he realizes there's actually a min unit. And I mean, so that buccaneer number five should be less damaged. Man, no big deal. Uh, but I go after him. Don't roll all the, 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 the greatest. You know, to get past Starcrossed, I do a big combine of the three and I do four damage. So whatever, I do a little bit of damage. Uh, renegade just that flag, score one, run up with the other Renegade, block the Mountain King, get on the center flag, score a second one, and on the right side, go around that other flag to get the third. However, when I go after that freaking Lightning Troll, I just can't hit it, because the star crossed, uh, I boost hit with the Trident, and uh, miss. So, it's still alive, I have three points to zero, but uh, now we'll see what he does. So what he does decide to do is uh, bring over Calandra, which is able to make the one renegade with whatever spell she has walk out of the way, which allows the Mountain King to get to my big old galleon. Now, he had some pretty big rolls to start off with, but then it went to crap. And in the end, my whole left side's down. But otherwise, things are all operational. So that's pretty awesome. Otherwise, he destroys a couple more buccaneers. Um... Yeah, he runs two of his beasts, the left flag. So the left flag is in a spot where it's too contested. Uh, by the way, he had two frenzies, the Winter Troll frenzied and the Lightning Troll. Uh, he actually also took a very dangerous gamble with the Mountain King, and it actually passed. It needed like a five or something, and he did it. But either way, um, Lightning Troll charged up, and when we measured it, it is within range and contest, so... I guess I don't automatically win, <laughs> but uh, this is the situation here. So here's my options. The left flag, I can't really get. The second flag, unless I really crank things on this Mountain King, I can't really get. The right flag, no problem. So the Galleon could just go try again to assassinate that Lightning Troll, but if I fail, I'm in a lot of trouble. Meanwhile, I got Calandra there with just one camp, one fo a fury on her. Now, both my renegades are currently engaged. I have the one that's engaged underneath the galleon's arm there, and I have the one that's down with the left flag. Now, the one on the by the Mountain King will be just, just smashed if I take that free strike. But what I can do is I can move it up to block line of sight to that Buccaneer, which has lost its movement, it can walk up to Calandra, showing its back, just so it's an easy target. Then the Renegade on the left can move out of the way, take one free strike, and then shoot the Buccaneer, which will catch Calandra, knock her down, and then the Galleon is going to walk around and pew, 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 
kills her. And that seemed to be the best math. So that's what I do. In fact, it gets even super easy because somehow that slag troll missed the free strike. Probably because half the model's missing. And then, yeah, it pretty much all goes to plan. Uh, knocks her down. I shoot her up. Uh, drag her in. And it's just a simple thing of like, okay, unless you can tough three times in a row, you're dead. So he fails the first one, and that's the game. So I know this is kind of up against a non-conventional list. You know, Calandra without the Mountain King. But you know what? I'm not really a conventional list either. So hopefully you guys found this interesting. I am just in love with this list. So I don't know. Uh, expect to see it some more. But either way, thanks for watching. Catch you later.